Well, you know, when you're a hot person, apparently, you're supposed to do all the hot jobs. Todd and I started traveling in an RV eight years ago with seven of our 10 kids. One by one, they've flown the coop and started their own adventures. Now, after three years of fixing up a hurricane-damaged sailboat, we're ready to explore the world with our last three kiddos before they're gone, too. So are you almost done? Yeah, basically we've got a quarter of the boat left. We're just trying to touch up our repairs from us um, glassing in the tow rail and the time when <clears throat> we hit the dock <clears throat> and a couple other things. The point of this paint was that it could be touched up. So we're going to see how well that works. For now, doing some prep. This is where we insert stay in life, stay in life. Not quite my Olivia Newton John sweatband, but close. So, primer's on. Sanding, getting ready for uh, first blue coat. Could have picked a calm day. Right? We waited for a calm day though to never get done, right? It literally took all of us to touch up this side of the boat. Todd was painting, I was handling the tipping brush, Gabe kept the dinghy close to the boat while Abigail held the forward line. Liberty was the camera crew and gopher. Abigail, we're going back. Well, we didn't get it all done today. No. Not the way it always is with boat projects though. You try, but tomorrow's another day and it'll go easy tomorrow, right? Yeah, quick and simple. And then it'll be it's like- kind of a mess out here. Yeah, it's a, it's a wreck. When you're working on stuff, it's a wreck. It's just a wreck. Let's see how it looks. We pulled the tape because when it gets due, we want that to drain. The 10 foot rule, right dear? That's right. It looks good from 10 feet away, it's awesome. The saying is, if you don't like the way my boat looks, you're anchored too close. <laughs> but it's gonna be nice. It looks a little bit less like, you know, a bunch of newbies have run over dock things and other things and scratched all up. Now it can look somewhat professional. <laughs> <laughs> it does need a little buffing to take off the oxidation. Well, I have to say, we're not professional yet. We're still in that expert phase of has-beens, drips under pressures. Maybe we'll get to that professional phase soon. No. No? No, I'm okay with being an amateur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like this, no pressure. No pressure. Getting ready for the last coat? Yep. I think we're gonna run a piece of tape across the top of this so that we don't accidentally get it, because I, I need to get, I need to get down here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Undo what line? This one. I mean, hold it or undo it? Undo it. Oh man. That's not good. That angle for the spring line that I was talking about yesterday. Makes a mess. Was it found when we run the spring line up like that, it rubs and it also rubs our logo off. So anybody got some good suggestions for that, that would be nice. Yeah, well the paint was rubbed because it was not dry. Right, but the logo is where the problem is. And in the front, same problem with the, our stripe. It rubs on the stripe. I'm not sure which I prefer, the wind from yesterday or the humidity and stillness today. All right. Still got a little bit of a breeze, but it is definitely humid this morning. No, I'm wondering if it's too humid to paint. Do we care? <laughs> well, I don't want it to be ruined. Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's too humid. It's definitely up there. I then don't think we're supposed to paint over seventy percent. Well, then that never happens down here this time of year. Yesterday was not 70%. Well, I should look and just double check. Hello, kitty. 
you out exploring this morning. Yeah. All right. Where's the paint? Find this paint and look on it for what the humidity says. Mm. Let's see if I can read that. Anybody not able to read the tiny print? All right. It's a little tiny there. It says 90% humidity. Okay, 85%, we're okay. Too close because this is supposed to be that down there bumping it, bending it. Ah, it's heavy. I know. Well, that's a good sign that we can't tell where we've painted. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> you know. I mean, it means that we it's blending nicely. This is, I'm not sure I can hand you this and load it. guys I think it looks freaking amazing uh, obviously we're going to have to buff where it's oxidized with what's new once it is all cured and really good and hard they think it's gonna look great that nice white crisp edge It's Abigail's birthday today, so we got up super early to get this done because we're going out to celebrate her birthday today. We let her sleep. Unfortunately, the dinghy has some blue on it. And inside of it. Todd's cleaning a couple spots where we got high blue. Okay, so we had a small disaster right at the end, pulling the tape off. And this is one of the problems that we have encountered with this paint. This paint is really easy to work with, looks good when you're rolling and tipping, but it is soft. And for some reason, it does not stick well. The paint is coming off the primer any place that you have tape attached for very long. And we just feel like that shouldn't happen to cured paint. So Todd's trying to fix where we have a problem. We had some tape to keep us from going over the top of that D letter. on that letter. That is original paint. When we pulled it off, it pulled a huge section of the original paint off. We have been in close contact with Total Boat from the beginning of this project when we first painted. We know that we did it exactly the way they told us to with weather conditions and everything as good as it could be done. Honestly, we just don't know why that it has this particular problem. It's not the first time that we've had paint pull off with just blue tape. It hasn't even been on there very long. All right, kitty kitty, you cannot walk around. What are you doing? What are you doing? If you fall in, I'm not going in after you. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that your new hangout? <coughs> yes, you got away, didn't you? Okay, go get hooked back up to your leash. Happy birthday, Abigail. You know how we get. So 
now the question, do you think I ought to do two coats? Because I think maybe I'll peel the paint off and then I can tape it again if we do decide to do a second coat. Huh? Now we need the top to our deep again. What is going on with this thing? It's leaking everywhere? Yep. Where'd you Leak. get it? I don't remember. I think West Marine. Might have been Walmart. That kind of looks like something from Walmart. Yeah, well, West Marine sells them too. Nope, it says find at Walmart.com. There you go. I guess maybe if you got the West Marine one and paid five times more, it would work. I don't know, this is just too deep for the hose. It's got this big end on the bottom, so it it goes in and it, and it doesn't go up against the gasket. By an adapter, I guess. Well, that doesn't help us today, now what? Do it the old fashioned way. Hello, that stuff smells good if it does do anything else, Blueberry. right? <laughs> hard to do when you're leaning over and the boat's and you got to do underneath and the boat's moving and initially it sprays buffing compound on your glasses lenses so I'm polishing them now so this is just the buffing compound let it dry to a haze and you gotta wipe it off by hand it's it's coming from here where stuff is running down but it's stained it like purple but I don't know what it's from. Well, but there's a line that goes here, too. Right, yeah, this horizontal line right there. So this was a patch right here. Where's the wagon? And you can see it's a little rougher with the uh, paint. I can't see anything. Well, I can feel that it's not as smooth. Well, you can't see You it. can't tell the color difference, really. I mean, I can see it right up against it. That it's a little different, so I know we'll just see how it goes. You need your knee pads. <laughs> yeah. Can I say I'm really glad that I have this amazing husband that's doing the really hard work. I'm just inside editing. We're actually editing this video and this is the finished product. So I'm now waiting and watching and filming so that we can finish this. Looks pretty awesome. I think so. So what is this stuff doing? It's not polishing. Hand me the stuff. So this is just a medium rubbing compound and it'll take paint, well, It'll smooth some scratches out of the paint, is what it's designed to do, but it'll remove heavy oxidation, which is what we kind of have, and blend the paint. So we'll do this first, and then we'll do a like a wax polish over the top. Todd has watched lots and lots of YouTube to figure out how to do this, and bought new tools. Jeez. Gotta have the new tools, right? Let's see if I can have the boat go out and pull me off the dock since I'm hooked around. <laughs> Spring line right here, huh? I'm not sure this is going to work as easy as it was over there. I need to pull it in. I can pull it in. Why shouldn't I just tighten this up? Our part is getting down low. I just can't keep it against the boat this low. Right? It's just weird what I don't know what it could be. From. You're supposed to start out slow until the stuff is kind of spread out. 
Otherwise, it just flings at your face. How long do you think that's going to take us? All day. <laughs> Should we work into the night since it's cooler? I don't want to. I'm tired. Yeah. I have a, a rib that hurts, which you'll see in an upcoming video. So it makes it a little harder. <laughs> okay, so uh, the boat paint that we used on this was Total Boat's Wet Edge paint, which is basically a one part paint. And we bought it for a couple reasons. One, we like the color. And two, we knew that we were going to have to touch it up because, you know, we're newbies. I mean, heck. <laughs> so, with that in mind. Well, well, there was one other piece, and that was budget. That's right. It's really affordable paint, and it's easy to work with. You know, I mean, when you're brand new at this, having something easy to work with, that's, that's worth a lot, really. You're going to do it yourself. What I was worried about, though, was how well it was going to blend and how easy it was going to be to blend. So, you know, we did talk to their tech guys and whatnot, but then we basically just went for it. And I'm actually very happy with how well it blended. How about you? Yeah, it was just really simple. Todd sanded, we primed and painted, and it looks fantastic. Before we buffed it out, we could stand back and look at it, and really it was pretty hard to tell where we had touched up. Yeah, it just kind of looked like a dirty boat. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm actually really happy with it. And now that we got that buffed out and stuff, it looks really nice. Yeah, the little part that we've done so far. <laughs> right here is the line where we broke. And here, where you broke what? Where we, this side's polished, this side is not. Okay. Here's our oxidation line. You can see it really good right there. You know, this is all oxidized. This is the new paint. This is um, compounded and waxed. And your shadow's in the way. Me and my shadow, my shadow you and, and me. Your shadow. All right, well, are we going to finish this today? No. We didn't work all night. No, we didn't. It was, uh, I was just too tired. I was too tired, but it's going to take us a little bit to finish this. We don't need to bore you with those details of scrubbing on the side of the boat. So we're going to finish this, make it look really nice, but we want you to stay tuned next week because... That video is us taking the boat out and anchoring out for the weekend. That's right. We're going to go anchor it out and have a party yep so if you want to see what the boat looks like when it is done being buffed check out our social media you can yep. find us at spoon drifter on instagram and we will share <laughs> pictures on there i'm fighting to keep my eyes open because it's so bright out here see you guys later bye bye